this video we're going to talk about parallel and perpendicular lines. Two lines are parallel if they run in the same direction at the same rate of change and never touch. So let's take a let's take a look at an example. So if we were graphing two lines so let's say that's our first line and then we had another line coming along like this these would be called parallel lines because they're never going to touch each other well suppose we were talking about perpendicular lines well perpendicular lines are lines that meet at a 90 degree angle so the two lines you see on the graph are more or less perpendicular given my stick man drawing. So that's an idea of graphically what we're looking at when we talk about parallel and perpendicular lines. So how do we tell analytically whether lines are parallel or perpendicular? Well we can tell whether a line is parallel or perpendicular by taking a look at the two slopes. So if we had two lines, say y equals one-half x plus four, and the other line was y equals one-half x plus twelve, these lines would be parallel because they have exactly the same slope. Each line has a slope of one-half. Well, what about perpendicular lines? Well, perpendicular lines have slopes that are negative reciprocals. So if, for instance, we had a line whose slope was one-half x, or excuse me, one-half, so we'll use the example of one-half x plus four, the line that is perpendicular to that, the slope will be the negative reciprocal. So the negative reciprocal of one-half would be negative two over one, or just simply negative two. So these lines are perpendicular. And the first two lines were parallel. So parallel is the same slope, perpendicular. The two lines have negative reciprocal slopes. Let's do some examples. So let's say, for instance, that we wanted to find the equation of the line containing the following point in parallel to the given line. So let's say that the point that we're given is 1, 4. And the line that we're referring to is y equals 3x plus 2. So we're given a point and we're given a line and we want it to be parallel. So we have the point and we have the slope because we want to use exactly the same slope. Well, the slope of this line is 3, so the slope of the line we're looking for also has to be 3. So we're going to use the point-slope formula, which is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Okay, so let's put those values in. So the slope that we have is 3. The x value of the line, or excuse me, the x value of the point we have is 1, and the y value is 4. So now we just simplify. So we have y minus 4 equals 3 times x minus 1. So we distribute on the right hand side, we get 3x minus 3. Bring down our y minus 4. Now we're simply going to add 4 to both sides. So the line that we're looking for has an equation of y equals 3x plus 1. Let's do another example. So let's say that the point that we're given is 6 comma 1. And the line that we're talking about is negative one-third x 
plus one fourth. So the point that we're given is six comma one, and since we're looking for a parallel line, we're going to use exactly the same slope as the line that we're given. We're going to use negative one third. So the point we're using is six comma one. The slope that we're going to be using is negative one third. So let's put that into our template. Okay, so our slope is negative one third. The x value of our point is six. The y value is one. So let's simplify. Let's distribute the negative one-third on the right-hand side. And negative one-third times negative six gives me positive two. So now we just simply add one to both sides, and we're going to be done. So y is going to equal negative one-third x plus three. Okay, let's do another example. So we're looking for one more parallel line. The point that we have to work with is 2, comma 2. The line that we have is 2x plus 3y equals 4. Okay, well this one's a little bit harder because it isn't declaring the slope for us. We're going to have to take this line and we're going to have to find the slope of that line. So all we have to do is get it into the form of y equals mx plus b where m is our slope. So we take our 2x plus 3y equals 4 and we solve for y. So let's start out by subtracting 2x from both sides. So now we have 3y equals negative 2x. Plus 4. And we have to divide both sides by 3. So y is going to equal negative 2 thirds x plus 4 thirds. Okay, so let's talk about finding some perpendicular lines. We'll use the same format. We're given a point. In this case, our point is 1, 1. And we want this line that we're finding to be perpendicular to y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 4. Okay, so the slope of the perpendicular line, and that's often indicated by a special symbol. So the slope of the perpendicular line is going to be positive 3 over 2. Remember, the perpendicular slope is the negative reciprocal of the slope of the line given. So now we have a point and a slope, so once again we put it into our template. So we're going to simplify. So we have y minus 1 equals 3 halves times x minus 1. So we need to distribute the 3 halves. And then we need to add 1 to both sides. Now on the right hand side, I'm going to add 1 but I'm going to put the 1 in terms of the least common denominator, so I'm going to add to the right-hand side, I'm going to add 2 over 2. So y is going to equal 3 halves x, and then negative 3 over 2 plus 2 over 2 gives me negative 1 over 2, or negative 1 half. 
let's do another example. So the point that we have to work with in this example is going to be 3 comma 2. The line that we're working with is y equals 4x plus 1. So the slope of the perpendicular line is going to be negative 1 fourth. It's the negative reciprocal. So we're going to put this into our template. Now let's simplify that a bit. So we have y minus 2 equals negative 1 fourth times x minus 3. And we're going to do this one by not working with fractions, so we're going to multiply everything through by the least common multiple. So we're going to try to get rid of the 4 in this denominator, so we're going to multiply every term by 4. Now you don't have to do it this way, but a lot of people really hate fractions, so I, I thought I'd do it this way just for the sake of illustration. So over here on the right hand side, see the 4's are going to cancel out. And on the right hand side we have 4y minus 8. Distribute our negative sign on the right hand side, so we have negative x plus 3 equals 4y minus 8. So let's add 8 to both sides. So on the right hand side we have negative x plus 11 and that's going to equal 4y. Well now we need to divide everybody by 4. So our answer is going to be y and negative x over 4 is negative 1 fourth x. So you see we have fractions again but not until the very end. So many of you will find that uh, a lot better than working with fractions all the way through. So let's do one more. So our final candidate here for a perpendicular line has the point 1 half comma 1. And we have the equation 2x plus 5y equals 3. Well once again the line that we're given does not uh, readily indicate what the slope of that line is. So we're going to have to modify that. So let's, uh, let's get y all by itself on one side. So we're going to have 5y equals negative 2x plus 3. And now we're going to divide everything by 5. So the line that we're working with is negative two-fifths x plus three-fifths. Now we want to come up with a line that is perpendicular to that, so we need to take the negative reciprocal of that slope. So the negative reciprocal of that slope is going to be five-halves. So we have our point and we have our slope. So as you probably suspected, we're going to put it into the point-slope formula. <coughs> so I'm just filling in the blanks with the information that we have. I'm going to simplify this. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and distribute. So we're going to have 5 halves x minus 5 fourths. And that equals y minus 1. So now we're going to add 1 to both sides and we're going to be finished. 
But once again, on this side, on the right hand side, I'm not going to add 1, I'm going to add 4 over 4. Which of course is adding 1. So we're going to wind up with 5 halves x minus 1 fourth. So there's a quick look at finding parallel and perpendicular lines. Thank you for watching.